infamous Mueller demands pro-Trump weight are given to him, gets smacked with perfect reply. Major League Baseball's Bruce Maxwell, a catcher for the Oakland A's, recently made headlines after claiming that a pro-America waiter discriminated against him and his choice to publicly protest the national anthem. Too bad for the entitled breadth, things just quickly blew up for him, and he got the smug grin wiped off his face when restaurant staff smacked him with the perfect reply. Mad World News reported on Maxwell after the athlete decided to drum up some attention for himself by jumping on the anthem protesting bandwagon. After hearing that President Donald Trump said that NFL national anthem protesters should be fired, the baseball player lashed out on Instagram before deciding to follow the example being set by the NFL. Clearly not caring about any supposed cause, he decided to protest out of spite proving himself to be nothing more than an attention-seeking fraud. However, things were soon made exponentially worse as Maxwell has since come forward saying that he was discriminated against on account of his decision to kneel. In fact, he went so far as to say that while going out to eat in an Alabama restaurant, he was confronted by a pro-American waiter. You're the guy that took the knee? I voted for Trump, and I stand for everything he stands for. The waiter allegedly told Maxwell, as the athlete called to TMZ. Of course, liberals took the story and ran with it, prompting Maxwell to become a national matter of concern for a quick minute, but that's not the case today. As it turns out, the waiter who Maxwell accused of discriminating against him has since come forward with the perfect reply, and it's safe to say that the entitled athlete isn't laughing anymore. As it turns out, Maxwell made the whole thing up. It was all a lie. According to BizPack Review, Maxwell had gone out to eat and was embarrassed when the waiter asked his friend for ID before serving him a beer. For some reason, the leftist MLB player turned that into an entirely fabricated anti-Trump story. He is outright lying. This is really upsetting as he was given full service, I didn't even know who Bruce Maxwell was, Matt Henry, a 42-year-old waiter at Keegan's Public House, said. This all started because I carded his friend who wanted to order a beer. He asked me, don't you know who Bruce Maxwell is? And told me I was making everyone feel uncomfortable. Nobody was even paying attention to them, Henry claimed. I didn't know anything about him or the kneeling. All I know is a friend of mine 15 years ago lost his job for serving someone a drink who happened to be underage, so if anyone looks under 30, I'm going to card them. Source, Fox News. Even better yet, Henry's manager has since come forward to validate the waiter's claims. Matt came to me and told me that a guy wanted a beer but his ID was not valid and I told him he absolutely could not give it to him, we can go to jail for that in the state of Alabama, and Waylon, the manager on duty that day, recalled. It was his friend causing all the fuss, none of us even knew who this baseball player was. I told him I had no idea who he was going on about. Eventually, Matt just asked if we could put another server on the table so I did, I can't believe the story. It's a shame to see exactly how desperate this punk is for attention and the pathetic low to which he was willing to stoop in order to get some. Of course, we really shouldn't be surprised at who this is coming from, considering the fact that the man clearly has no class. Hopping on the back of a nonsensical protest not because you believe in its so-called cause but out of spite for the President of the United States, shows exactly what kind of punk we're dealing with here. Unfortunately for him, now everyone knows exactly what kind of clown Maxwell is, and I highly doubt anyone takes this fool seriously from here on out. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Matt World News. World News.